G.I. Joe was there. G.I. Joe. American hero. G.I. Joe was there. What in the name of... <laughs> Son of a gun. You're back, aren't you? <laughs> Good old Chuck. <laughs> You're back. Yep. I, for one, am dog tired. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Destro's Desk. I'm Rob and today I've got a good one. We've got the first release of 2024 for the G.I. Joe Classified Series. I've got Mutt and I've got Junkyard and this is going to be a good one. As you can see Hasbro has gone back to the window packaging. We can see the figure, we can see the accessories and everything that comes with it. No figure swapping going on anytime soon with these packages. So first off, we will look at this brand new package. So we've got Mutt and Junkyard. This has been a very highly anticipated release since it was uh, revealed back at the uh, San Diego Comic-Con in 2023. We have got Mutt. We have got Junkyard. We've got a second head sculpt for Junkyard. We've got three sets of hands. I see a knife. We got some guns, and we've got a nightstick. And also on the front, we've got that uh, nice comic art-looking shot there of Mutt and Junkyard, which looks awesome. Very vicious-looking dog in that picture. Not to be messed with, for sure. We have got, on the back, a little bit different style. No more uh, height measurement or anything on there. We have got just a photography picture of Mutt and Junkyard in action. On the sides, for what we can see here, it's kind of tight in the light box. We've got that shot again on the end of the box of uh, Mutt and Junkyard. And on the other side, we still have the QR code. And as you can see, he is number 113 in the series. And the first one of 2024. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink, and let's unbox and review Mutt and Junkyard. All right, so I've got everything out of the plastic packaging and laid out here. First off, I have to say, right out of the packaging, this guy looks great, and Junkyard looks fantastic. I can't wait to take a closer look at this. So first off, let's look at the accessories, weapons, everything that comes with these guys. Uh, first off, I'll have a look at these hands. So we've got uh, an open hand here and a little bit of a cupped hand. So there's those there. We've got a fist with a little bit of a hooked finger there. Um, we've got a pointing finger. I'm assuming a lot of these are uh, command signals for, for junkyard. And we also have, we have this hand here that's uh, not too sure what you would call that one or what that would be for, but uh, that's, the, that's the pose of that hand. And then we have a closed fist. So the hands are looking great. We don't usually get a lot of hands with these uh, figures, so this is good getting all these. We have got Mutt's helmet, so it's uh, a, a pliable plastic. It is it is bendable. Um, it actually looks really cool because probably if you can see it there, it's almost like there's a bit of a wash over it. Like this helmet may have been almost uh, like a brownish, but now it has uh, got lots of wear on it and it's got uh, like a darker tone to it. But up close, you can definitely see there's uh, some texture in there and some uh, some cool paint uh, application. So helmet looks really good. It's not just one basic color. We've also got the goggles. So we've got Mutt's goggles here with the uh, nice looking gold lenses. Now this is the larger pair of goggles. So this will be to go over his helmet when it's on top of his head. If you want these sitting on the helmet, kind of like Hawk style. So we've got those ones and we've got the little bit smaller ones here, the, the same gold lenses in there. And that would just go over Mutt's head, not with the helmet. Now we've also got this face mask and this is actually something I was trying to find out about what exactly Mutt needs this mask for. Now I can understand if it's for protection on his face when while uh, handling dogs and training dogs. There is some, uh, looks like some breathable apparatus there. Some filters on the side there painting in, painted in red. You guys can let me know in the comments if you know a little more about uh, what or why Mutt requires a, a face mask like that. Uh, please let me know because uh, I would like to know that. Uh, we've got a nightstick. So we've seen these uh, or seen a nightstick recently with the Shockwave release. Same, uh, same stick right there. Same mold. Everything's the same with that one. Um, for weapons, we've got we got this handgun, 
I'm sure we've seen this one before. There is a hole in the end there for uh, blast effects and there is a paint app across the top with that uh, nice green color. So that looks good. They didn't just leave it one plain color. We've got the big machine gun here. It's got a sight on the top. We've got that uh, same green paint app on the gun there. The rest of it is in just a black plastic. The magazine or clip does come out. It doesn't come in, it doesn't show separately in the packaging when uh, when it's all packaged up, but it does, uh, it does remove. It comes in the gun like that. Now these guns, hopefully with this kind of packaging, we're gonna see everything nice and straight and no bends to them. Um, the plastic for this is still, it's a bit gummy. It's still flexible a little bit, but uh, at least it's uh, all fairly straight. So that looks really good. And last but not least, we have got a little knife, just your basic knife. I'm sure we've seen this one before on a black plastic with a uh, silver paint app on the blade. A little bit of a bend there, kind of had to bend it a little bit to get it out of that packaging, but uh, otherwise it's fairly straight and looks pretty good. That is everything that comes with these two. And uh, so first off, let's have a look at Junkyard, the dog. Sounds like Junkyard dog from uh, the old WWF days. So my first impressions of this animal, this dog is just this is an incredible sculpt they did for this guy. The detail in the fur around the legs, the transition in color, uh, fur and hair color, just really, really well done. The face, like look at that face. That is a mean looking Rottweiler. Tons of detail across the face. The eyes look incredible. It's got the little divots there around his snout where these uh, whiskers would be. Um, that mouth looks incredible pink gums on there we've got teeth are showing also has that uh hardcore looking collar there in red with uh, silver spikes on it so you don't want to be messing around with old junkyard if you're uh if you come face to face with him that's for sure we've also got this uh bulletproof vest that goes around the dog and it uh, looks really well done also some really nice paint on there they use a darker uh, green with a lighter green which looks good. There's lots of buckles on there that are molded in that uh, look really good. It's got the handle on the top there for Mutt to uh, to hold on to Junkyard. But what can I say? This is uh, this is just an outstanding dog. One thing's for sure: the GI Joe Classified Series Hasbro has made some outstanding uh, animals. Uh, whether it was Fiona the uh, Crocodile, or we've got a uh, couple versions of Timber, and we've got Polly, and what else? We and we got Freedom with uh, Spirit. So their animals that they've come out with so far have been just fantastic. Really, really well done. Uh, the articulation with Junkyard, lots of movement here on him. So we got like a shoulder, dog shoulder. There's movement there. We've got, uh, I guess if you call that like an elbow on the dog's leg there, that uh, articulation there. We've got like a like an ankle there. We've got the paw that articulates right at the very bottom there. So each leg has full articulation for posing, which is just great. For the head, we've got full movement and range for the dog's head. There also is neck movement there also. So lots of movement, tons of articulation they put into uh, to junkyard here we've also got a second head skull for junkyard and this is kind of like the oh you're a good boy head skull he's waiting for some treats or for some food because he is excited and he is licking his lips because he is hungry so we'll swap the heads at the end of this video we'll uh, have a look at that we'll show some different poses but but that is junkyard i'm very impressed with that Junkyard, the dog that they uh, created to go with to go with Mutt here from the uh, GI Joe series, outstanding work there. So next up, we have got Mutt. All right, so for Mutt, now this is a guy that uh, goes back to the very beginning of GI Joe in the cartoon series and in the comic book series. Um, he was early on and is a very important character in the in the series and the story of GI Joe. But first, first looks at him here, he looks fantastic. Um, starting up here with the head, so what a great head sculpt they've given him. He's got that black hair, he's got that big push broom mustache there. You've even got 
a little bit of a five o'clock shadow on his face so some really great uh, paint work there to give it that look he's got a couple claw marks on his face there so uh, he might have got into it with junkyard a little bit may have had a little disagreement but uh he's definitely got uh he's got some wrinkle marks there on his forehead and around his eyes to show that uh he's a little bit older dude so the head sculpt looks great really really well done uh moving down so we've got on his signature uh green colored uh, shirt there we've got this nice brown vest with his signature red going across the top of the shoulder straps there on the vest we've always seen uh, mutt with some variation of that red going across the uh, the shoulders like that uh, this vest looks great wraps around them all the way it has got a uh, knife sheath in the front there for that knife you can see the zippers we got buckles um, all across the front there more pouches some uh, shotgun shells or uh, rounds for his machine gun we've got that metal there looks like it's got some laurel leaves on it with a star in the middle and uh, moving down so we've got a uh, utility belt on him here this is uh, not molded on him this is a separate piece but I don't believe it no it doesn't come off but there's uh, lots of pockets on there for him to hold all those I'm sure dog treats and uh, stuff like that for junkyard and around on the back we've got a uh, small little can spray can there probably of mace or an animal repellent of some sort going down we've got uh, just green legs on this guy i'm sure we've seen these uh, legs somewhere before but i'm not uh, too good at matching up where we've seen them but uh, but there's uh, looking good you got the uh, brown knee pads on there we've got a gun holster on his right leg for that revolver uh, going down we've got uh, some br brown boots here we got the uh, black flaps on the front probably a little extra protection on those boots from dog bites but uh, overall looking great there the arms we got the rolled up sleeves on both sides with a shirt uh, we got some pockets on uh, on both sides and then we get the body hair uh, paint job on the uh, forearms and uh, take it from me I don't think we need a whole lot more uh, hair on these figures like that I don't think that's totally necessary the the tattoos I think look really well done on them but uh, this hair and as you can see we've got some uh, crazy chest hair happening there but uh, I don't think that's really necessary they, they can do away with that if they want to it won't bother me at one bit this arm here we've got um, this protection uh, forearm piece again this would be uh, protection from dogs while training dog bite on the uh, the forearm there's lots of detail in there um, the paint looks really well done but there you can tell that there's some teeth marks on there so uh, that piece has had some action uh, same with he's got the black gloves on and he's got that same brown uh, uh, I don't know if they're like a leather piece or whatever on the front there that's uh, all protection from from dog bites so that is pretty much it for the look of Mutt. I think he looks fantastic. He's really well done. I can't say enough good things about this figure right off the bat here. What a great figure. Um, for articulation for this guy, so for his head, lots of movement on that head. 360 Exorcist style. We've got uh, neck movement in there also, so tons of movement there. We've got the uh, shoulder arm T-stand, so those do go all the way up. There's nothing, uh, nothing stopping it there. We also got the, the butterfly uh, shoulder pieces in there. Uh, we've got the bicep cut as usual. We've got the wrist action. We've got the double pinless elbow joints, which are moving uh, good there. So pretty much the same on both sides. Um, ab crunch. There might be an ab crunch under this vest, but this vest does not come off, and uh, which means there's uh, no movement in that ab crunch area. Uh, there is some movement in the waist which is okay there. We got the drop down hip joints as usual with these figures. Um, same on the thighs, we've got that thigh cut on both legs. This one kind of being uh, camouflaged by that, uh, by that gun holster there, so you can't see that. Um, we've got the double pinless knee joints, which are nice and stiff as they usually are. Don't want those too loose at all. Uh, and moving down, we've got uh, the boot cut. We've got the ankle joint there, and it goes up and down. So full articulation with this guy, no issues at all. Everything seems to be pretty tight. Nothing's loose. And all I can say is uh, this is looking like an excellent figure. Really well done by Hasbro with this one. All right, 
So that is Mutt and Junkyard. Let's get some of these weapons and accessories on him and uh, see how he looks. All right, so let's get some of these accessories on Mutt here. We'll put the helmet on him. And we're used to seeing him in the uh, cartoon series or comic series, always wearing that helmet um, for the goggles. So this is like all the other goggles we've got that uh, figures like Bazooka and Hawk, Dusty. So they will fit over the top like that for that look, which looks great for weapons. So we've got that revolver, it just fits right down there perfectly, fits in there nice. Uh, we've got that little knife that will just go right into his knife sheath there, which is perfect. And then that uh, we've got that nightstick, Get that in his hand. Now the only thing with the nightstick is that there is no spot to uh, to put that on him to carry it. It may fit in that uh, in between that utility belt and the body. There is no like loop or anything. I'm sure something can be made to put around the belt just so that can uh, slide in. But uh, we'll try that sometime. Uh, we'll get that, uh, that big machine gun here in his hand. Really like the look of this machine gun. There we go. Now I'm not going to do any of the uh, hand changes right now. Maybe in the at the end of some of the poses uh, we'll do that. So there's the gun in hand with those hairy forearms. So it looks pretty good. So that is Mutt with those accessories. Now in order to put the face mask on, you actually have to take the head off. So I will do that now, we'll get then uh, we'll try that out. So the only thing is with this, so you gotta pop his head off and you basically have to, so you kinda, if you do it from the bottom up and if you wanna put the goggles on, cause this actually looks really cool when you've got both. All right. At least Mutt's head actually uh, goes on and off fairly easily. I just, uh, if you saw my last video there with uh, Snowjob, I could not get his head, the second head, on. I'm pretty sure I pulled something in my bicep trying to force it on. That's how crazy it was. I eventually kind of got it, but I don't think it's still on that great. But anyways, this head snaps on really well. No problem there. So that, and we can also put that helmet back on have the goggles on that or not probably take them off but look at that mask and goggles on that face that looks badass if you ask me looks really cool i really like how they did that that looks awesome so that is basically mutt without the uh the hand changes um for junkyard his head also pops off fairly easily and we can pop the new one on there so this is kind of like the uh i want a treat looking face give me some food thirsty but uh, looks awesome. All right, and something else I want to show you guys. This is my Mutt and Junkyard from the Real American Hero line from the 80s. Now, this is my figure that I've had over the years. Um, I recently actually just got the, uh, the the leash, the dog leash, and the uh, the face mask um, for this guy. But it's not complete. Um, I don't have any of the weapons. But as you can see, they did a really good job um, creating the same likeness as the figure from uh from the 80s it's almost identical we got that that brown vest there's the uh the red on the shoulders so that's the original mutt and junkyard that uh, i've had for many years so there we go well guys what more can i say this mutt and junkyard from the gi joe classified series that's the first release of the year what can i say this is an amazing figure an amazing dog they put together with this absolutely fantastic figure i definitely recommend getting this one and add it to your collection this is a must have if you are a true gi joe fan mutt and junkyard go way back to the beginning and i am super happy to now have these guys in my collection and part of the classified series of figures up on my shelf i'm gonna put this guy in some poses as uh, as usual here we'll have a look at that thanks for watching Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please hit that like button if you like this video and the others that I've been putting out. And please hit that bell so you know exactly when my next video is uploaded and ready for you guys to check out. So guys, until the next video, thanks for watching. Take care.